Hey and howdy everyone, it's Jeannie with Paper Pixie Ink. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a project share with you and let me know if you are interested in seeing a tutorial for this one. I didn't get a chance to film this one, but because this is a Minte collection and I have the very similar uh, sunset beach collection um, from them, I can recreate this. So let me know if you're interested in that. So this is the cover. Uh, I just use one of the sheets from the collection and then some of the cut aparts that I cut out. Some flowers. Um, these are from Little Birdie Crafts um, and these ones are from Wild Orchid. So I just added some extra gems to it as well and gave it, gave it a little bit more dimension. So the spine is just very, very basic. So I just used a piece of coordinating um, pattern paper that went with the cover. And then I just created this kind of very basic chunky charm that has, has a cute little key on it and some grapes and a little teapot and then some beads. And then the back of it I kept very simple as well so I used some more of the coordinating paper um, and then a couple of the cut aparts. Uh, this one I just popped up on a piece of chipboard. And then my closure is this. So these are just some little clasps that I bought off of Amazon um, and so they just snap open like that and I used some small silver brads to hold them on. So when you first open it up, I kept one side of the pages are fairly simple and then the other side, um, it depends on what page as to which side, um, but other sides are a little bit more complicated. So this is just a pocket and I just put in, these were some of the 12 by 12 um, cut aparts that are three by four inches. So I just have a couple of those that I have on the cardstock. Um, and then this is just a little tag that I created and inked the edge with Dusty Concord. And then these are some Pink Fresh Jewels um, and a cut apart. And then this is actually from the Lavender Farm um, chipboard stickers page. So this page is a little bit different. So we have a little pocket right here with a cute little tag that I created that just slips inside of this. And then this is magnetized. This piece here is another one of the chipboard stickers from the collection. So this just opens and then this pops up. And then each of the pages are pocket pages. So we have these little inserts which give plenty of space for photos and journaling if you want. And then the next page we have a little pocket right here. So again another little tag. And then these just flip open like this. This, These two pieces here were a circular chipboard embellishment from the chipboard stickers and then this just opens like this so pop up like that and walking on my path was another one of the chipboard pieces so this next page is again very basic so this is just some of the pretty paper from the collection and this says somewhere in province which is the uh, one of the chipboard stickers from the collection and then this is this is magnetized and this just opens and we have some more of the papers here we have another insert again this one opens so plenty of space and then this is just another pocket page so again another cutout and then a chipboard sticker 
uh, short pocket and then we have a few of the cut aparts like we saw earlier um, some of these actually open so this pops open like this so you have all that space and then you have these two here and there is space on the back um, and then this just has another tag as well this page here, this is one of the chipboard embellishments, and then this is magnetized, and this is just one of these components. So you've seen these before in some of my albums. And another one. So again, plenty of space, even though this is only six and a quarter by six and a quarter, um, there is plenty of space in this album for photos. So this is just another insert. So this is another one of the chipboard stickers and it's just another photo mat. Uh, and then this opens like this and we have this and then this. So it's kind of like that. And then again, another pocket. This one, this says keep calm in a blaze of purple. And again, this is a chipboard sticker. And then these are just a couple more of the cut aparts from the 12 by 12 paper. And they just all open. So again, they give you quite a bit more space in the album. And another tag. And another insert. So they're just plain on the insides and the back, but plenty of space. We have another pocket. This says lavender, the color and scent of relaxation with a cut apart from the collection. And then this is just a pocket with a couple of tags or I guess a few tags and some of the cut aparts from the 12 by 12. So this is just a single. And then this one, This one opens like this. So lots more space there. And of course you can use the space on here as well for photos. And then this page opens this way and just pops up like that. So you could do one side for journaling and, and photos, or you can do just photos. So lots of options there. And another insert. So it says feel the lavender magic and another one of the very pretty sheets from the collection. And this just opens like this. It is magnetized. So you have, can keep it closed and there's plenty of space. Uh, this is one of the chipboard stickers again, and I just inked most of these around the edges with the Dusty Concord Distress Ink. And then this opens like this, and you have all of those spaces for photos. And it is magnetized here in the bottom. And then this opens. And we have one more pocket here. This just says our story. It's a chipboard embellishment or chipboard sticker. And then we have a few more of the tags. And these were all made using the We Are Memory Keepers punches. Um, and this is the reinforcement hole punch as well from We Are Memory Keepers. And then we have a couple more of these little cards. So this is just a card. And then this one opens up. And then this, this just opens like this. And then this pulls down. So it's a waterfall. And these are all from the um, cut aparts and they are open so you can still tuck your photos in these as well. So just like that. And then this is magnetized closed. 
So that's the album. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you are interested in a tutorial uh, where I recreate it or <laughs> to the best of my ability, recreate it using this collection for the Sunset Beach. Please let me know in the comments and I will get started on that soon. So as always, if you're interested in seeing more, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Thanks everyone.